Here's Rivera. Lavello at the podium. I don't know who put them up to that. I'll never <laughs> forgive the whoever did that. Anyways, okay. Let me regain my composure. All right, Tori, thanks for coming in. Just amazing season for you guys. We'll Thank get you. started. Who's got the first question? We'll start at the fourth row to your left. Tori, uh, I know the feelings are pretty raw right now, but I'm wondering if you can see past that at all the comment on what a great season it was, the journey to get to this unlikely World Series for a very young team. Yeah, um, before I get started, I just want to congratulate um, the Texas Rangers, Bruce Bochy, Chris Young, and all their players' ownership. They're an amazing franchise. They won their first world championship in franchise history, and um, it's quite an accomplishment. They were the best team. They beat us fair and square. Um, as far as your question, yeah, I, I just got done telling the guys that I'm so proud of what they've done. And we have to step back for a minute and, and tell ourselves that we've done a lot of really amazing things this year. And then we got on this really fun ride through the course of the postseason. And <clears throat> um, you just never want it to stop. It's like your favorite roller coaster that you never want to get off of. And you want to be the last team standing, and you want to be in the middle of a pile. and everybody pile on top of you. That's that's the best feeling in the world. So um, some have been there <clears throat> and we we're going to continue to climb that mountain. And once we get there, we want to stay there for a long time. But the reason why um, it hurts so bad is because we care so much. We care about this baseball community. We care about the fans of Arizona, um, the bleed Sedona red with us that have backed us. You know, those are the things that go through my mind and know all the players. This is painful. This is this is just plain painful. And I can't quite move past that right now, but I will. And I told the guys to absorb it and and process it the right way. Don't compartmentalize it. Don't put it away. Think about how you feel when you get to that point and we'll get to that crossroad at some point and be able to say, Wow, it's a great run. And we did something pretty pretty amazing. <laughs> Other questions for Tori? Go to Jack up here. Tori, congratulations on a great season. Thank you, um, Jack. Just unbelievable what you guys have accomplished. Thank so you. I just want to say that first. I appreciate that. Um, also, just, you know, for putting up with us, a lot <laughs> of annoying, kind of silly questions sometimes, but thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, well. as, you, as you look forward to the next steps, I mean, how many days do you think it's going to be before you actually start thinking about next year? Um, man, that's a good question. I just want to—I want to run away and hide for a few days. I want to go camping and just sit in the tent and and suck my thumb, you know, <laughs> and eat ice cream. <laughs> Is that the weirdest answer you guys have ever had right there? <laughs> <laughs> um, and just let it run its course the way it's supposed to, you know. Um, hurt when I'm supposed to hurt, cry when I'm supposed to cry, feel good when I'm supposed to feel good. But when I wake up on that one morning, whenever it is, could be a week from now, 10 days from now, it's going to be a little while. I know that. I know how I operate. But when it is, it's going to be turn the page and let's go. It's go time. So. Um, I think everybody's in that same boat right now. And we just, I, wa I want to hurt. I want to hurt because I want to remember what this feels like because I never want to feel it again. And everybody knows that feeling that I'm talking about, whether it's personal, something personal or something professional. You just, you want to move off of these moments. But I'm not going to run away from it. Third row on your left, Dan. What can you say about So he goes home to suck his thumb and camp in a tent and cry it out with ice cream. But the Rangers clinched the World Series with a 5-0 shutout. That's tied for the third largest shutout win to clinch a World Series in the expansion era. This is also the second time the Diamondbacks have been shut out in their postseason history. It also came this year against the Phillies.